Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Let's continue concept of enthalpy by learning lesson 43. We are going to define heat capacity, specific heat capacity, and calculate the heat change in a calorimeter using the formula Q equals to mc delta T or Q equals to c delta T. Calorimetry is the measurement of the transfer of heat into or out of a system during a chemical reaction or physical process. The machine used is calorimeter. There are two types, simple ones, as simple as the coffee cup calorimeter and bomb calorimeter. I used to work with differential scanning calorimeter, DSC. This is uh, the simplest calorimeter ever because we're going to use only coffee cup and a thermometer. You can even do this at home. So you have the coffee you want to measure the enthalpy and um, you have the coffee cup, the styrofoam cup, and then you put in the hot coffee inside the cup, and then you measure the initial temperature. After a while, um, you note that the temperature has decreased, and at a certain point, that temperature is basically constant for a few minutes. Uh, that is when you take the final reading of the temperature and you're going to use a formula to calculate this. This is a bomb calorimeter. You're going to put the sample inside the box in the middle of the calorimeter and around the sample would be water. Water plays an important role here, whereby it is going to absorb all the heat that is released during the combustion of the sample. And the insulated container would also absorb some of the heat released. You're going to detect the difference of temperature before and after the experiment using a thermometer as well. Before we go to the formula, we need to know certain important terms. Q is the thermal energy changes measured using a thermometer. Specific heat capacity C is the amount of heat required to raise the temperature of 1 gram of water by 1 degrees Celsius. Whereas heat capacity, the capital C, is the amount of heat required to raise the temperature of a given quantity of the substance, particularly the insulated wall of the bomb calorimeter by 1 degrees Celsius. The most important basic principle in calorimetry is the heat released by a reaction is equal to the heat absorbed by the surroundings. Let's look at the difference between coffee cup calorimeter and bomb calorimeter. In bomb calorimeter, we cannot measure the temperature directly for the sample like we did for our coffee. So what we are going to do is we measure the heat released by the reaction by measuring the heat absorbed by water and the walls of the calorimeter. So the surroundings here are referring to the calorimeter, the walls, or the water and calorimeter together. So that is the formula. Let's look at it one by one. The first formula is using the heat release of substance equals to heat absorbed by water. The substance is a sample in the bomb calorimeter. 
So we are going to use Q equals to MC delta T, whereby Q is the heat released by the substance, this one, and MC delta T is for water here. So mass of substance is basically mass of water. Specific heat capacity C, small c, is the specific heat capacity for water. And delta T is the temperature change. The same sample just now that we have burnt in the calorimeter releases heat that is also be absorbed by the calorimeter. So we're going to use another formula topping up the formula we have used. MC delta T. Now this time it is a capital C delta T, whereby the capital C stands for heat capacity of the calorimeter, the insulator, the part where the insulated area is, and the delta T would be the same. So what we're going to do is we're going to add together both equation whereby the principle is the heat released by the sample burnt is the same as the heat absorbed by water around the sample plus the heat absorbed by calorimeter. So Q equals to MC delta T plus C delta T where M is the mass of water Small c is the specific heat of water, capital C is the heat capacity of calorimeter, and delta T is the same, the temperature change. Let's do example 1.5. 25 ml hydrochloric acid and 25 ml sodium hydroxide are mixed in a calorimeter. Both of them have 30 degrees Celsius initial temperature. The maximum temperature when measured is then 36.9 degrees Celsius. The specific heat capacity of water is at the back of the book or you can even use the constant in your yellow page. Write the balance equation. I believe you can do this. Calculate the number of mole of acid and base use. Yes, you can use MV over 1000. And determine the enthalpy of neutralization. First, you need to find Q equals to MC delta T. Let's look at the answers. This is the balance equation. I'm sure you can uh, come up with this. But please make sure that all the substance has um, state of matter. So acid, base and salt would be an aqueous form, but liquid is for water. Next, you're going to find the number of mole of acid and base. Uh, coincidentally, for this question, the N is the same for both. So you use MV, 1 molar multiply by 0 0.025 liters, you get 0 0.025 mole. In the occasion where the number of mole is different, you need to find the limiting reactant, means the least number of moles. So do a revision in your green book, chapter 1, SEM 1. The next part is critical, whereby we are using Q equals to MC delta T, where M is the total mass of the substance in question, where HCl is 25 ml, NaOH is 25 ml. So, taking into consideration that this substance has um, um, more than 90% water in it, we use the density of water to convert from um, 50 ml to 50 grams. And then C is the specific capacity of water and 6.9 is the delta T or theta. The answer is 1.443 kilojoules. 
you're going to have uh, joule at first but then you convert it into kilojoule because we are going to find the enthalpy of neutralization which the unit must be in kilojoule per mole now look at the unit this much of kilojoule must be converted into kilojoule per mole so what we are going to do divide the q with n which we have calculated here so the answer is 1.443 kilojoule over 0 0.025 is 57.74 kilojoules per moles the heat is released so you need to put the negative sign here that's your answer now your task is to do practice 1.2 question number one question number two And question number three. So that's it for part two of concept of enthalpy. I'll see you again soon. Madam Ruby logging off for lesson 43. Thank you very much for listening and watching. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.